How's it going, ladies and Bruce? It's I'm Bobby Six Killer. Welcome back to Zero Escape 999. We're on our true ending path. And I don't think we're going to be too far away. We just finished the operating room, which was uh, door seven. Let's keep going. Huh? We might even get it done this episode, but the ending will probably span out like it did last time. Because it's a major one. June? And Santa? And Lotus, too? We'll see oh. what happens. What the hell is this? What are you doing here? What? But we didn't. Hey guys, could you come take a look at this? Look on the wall here. A map of the ship's interior? It says Sea Deck. So it's the map for this floor then? Door 7 and... Door 8. Door 8. Yep, they both eventually end up at this hallway. I remember. Yeah. We can't skip this yet though. We aren't going to be split up permanently till we find door 9. We might get separated for a little while, but we'll see each other again. Otherwise, we won't be able to open door 9. That's how the nonary game works. I see. Thanks for that, Captain Obvious. Wait a sec. <laughs> hey, could this lead to... Oh! You've got to be kidding me. We may as well go. Yeah. Oh, I almost forgot. We should keep this. The map, yeah. Ready? I'm gonna open it. Alright, what's next? I knew it. We're back. In the hospital room. How exciting for us. I see. Alright, here we go. Back to skipping. Okay, it is finally time for us to pick our next door. That took ages to skip to, but the only door we haven't done, door one. That's what we're heading through, so we got a whole new puzzle to solve. Let's see if we can get it done. My choice is door one. Let's see what happens. Hey, wait a minute there. Are you cheating? Cheating? I'm asking if you changed your number after you heard what doors we wanted. How could I do that? I wrote it down on the paper earlier. Let me see that. Sure, here. I had three pieces of paper ready, and I put the one with door six on it into the pot. I just needed to make sure I drew last. After I saw everyone else's result, I just chose whatever door I wanted. If the number I'd already put in matched, then I didn't have to switch the paper out. Well, what does it say? <laughs> you got lucky. Very well. We've decided who will go through door one. It will be Clover, Junpei, and myself. Our only problem is the two remaining teams. June and I want door six. Lotus and I want door two. That's not good. We can't open either of those doors with only two people. <sighs> Aw. Fine. Seven, we'll go through door six. Sure thing. I didn't really want to go through door two anyway. Besides, if we've got a younger girl with us, it'll lower the average age. Right, June? <laughs> uh, well, I... I am... Um... Pig. <laughs> see. Calling me... Seven's really good at pissing people off, man. Especially women. <laughs> this is why men are such a pain in the ass. They're about as subtle as a brick. And they're at it again. I'll see you later, June. Jumpy. Don't make that face. It'll be like what Seven said. We are going to be split up permanently. We're splitting up with her every single door. We might get separated for a little while, but we'll see each other again. Otherwise, we won't be able to open door nine. That's how the notary game works. It'll be fine. I'll see you soon. All right. See you later. Good luck. Here's Adek. It was the door on the left, right? That should be it, yes. Then here we go. I wonder how this puzzle's gonna be. I think it's the only puzzle it's only puzzle room we haven't set. solved yet. I think. A numbered door. There's the red. I'll go first. Now the two of you, if you would. <laughs> now. Are you ready? Shall I pull it? Yeah, anytime. <laughs> Very well then. Let's go. Three. Two, one. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can it's nut open. this next one out. I have a feeling this one's going to be difficult. <laughs> where, Ooh, where is it? Fancy. Uh, there it is, over there. The operating group one was reasonably difficult. Uh, it's 
stopped. Yes, it did. Whew. I don't believe I'll ever get used to that. I'm not sure it's something I'd want to get used to. We should I wish they always wouldn't say that. Imminent death becomes a normal thing. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Now then. There's another door. Let's try opening it. So, this is the wheelhouse. Captain's cabin. Ace, you investigate the wheelhouse next door. Very well. Clover, you're in charge of this room. <sighs> Say something. This is the room that Clover found something in, in our safe ending that made Ace kill Clover. So all we have to do is find it ourselves. Okay, I will. All right then, let's get started. Or something. This is an important room. <laughs> Clearly, it's where they drive the ship, but still. <laughs> All right, let's have a look around. Drawers. Pocket watch. Cool. Oh, pocket watch. Might I take a look at it? Hey, man. What are you doing over in this room? Oh, I just thought I'd come check up on the two of you. Is there a problem? Yeah, there is. You checked on us. Now get out of here. We split this stuff up for a reason, all right? <laughs> That's a lie. We didn't have to split up the work. I just want to talk to Clover alone. Well, I just know he's the killer, so I don't want him here. <laughs> That's why I sent Ace to the wheelhouse. There's something I want to ask her. And you can't do this ending without ha without doing the safe ending, which means you have to know Ace is the killer. I don't want anyone as the player. Us. I'm pretty sure Clover won't talk if there's anyone else around. That's why when Ace showed up again, I got a little desperate. I had to make him leave. Oh, I see. Of course. I apologize for the intrusion. Well, best of luck. <sighs> what was that about? Why are you looking at me like that? Oh, uh, no, 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 it's not like that. What's it like then? I just wanted to hear the rest of that story. I didn't get a chance to ask you about it until now. What story? About the experiment, remember? The one you started to tell me in the operating room? You said something about an experiment that happened here nine years ago. I'm sorry, but I don't want to talk about that right now. I'm just not in the mood, okay? Uh... You this is your last chance. Right? I'm just... I keep thinking about my brother. I... I can't stop. I mean, who would do something like that? To my brother? <sighs> I can't forgive them. I'm not gonna let them get away with it. They're gonna pay for it. I promise. So... So... Junpei... Who do you think did it? Well, if what Seven said was right, then there would have to be at least two of them. You need at least three people to open the numbered doors. We know it's nine and one. Snake. That means there were at least two other people. You're right. So what does that mean? Well, if we just look at the bracelet numbers, we should be able to figure it out. Who could have opened door three with Snake? Well, really, who and who, or who, who and who? You mean it could have been four people? Well, technically, it's possible. Um, I don't know. That doesn't seem very likely. No. Um, I'll tell you later. Why don't we just assume it was only two other people for now? Makes okay. sense. Uh, got it. Let's do that then. Then who do you think it could be? One and nine. That's not even an option, one and nine. Nine's not on the list. So that means we can't even put Ace in. Ace and Lotus is... only makes two. Santa and June. Santa's three, June's six, it's nine plus two is eleven, that's not right either. Santa and seven. Three and seven, plus two, that's possible. Would it be Santa and seven? The digital root for snake, Santa and seven. Three! Wait, hold on. Are Santa and seven the killers? No. <sighs> What's wrong? 
Well, I thought about it, and... That's what I thought. Santa and Seven. If it was two people, then that's the only combination that works. Hey, wait a minute there. Don't you think it's a little too early to be jumping to conclusions? Well, all I said is that those two would have been able to open door three with your brother. There might be other possibilities. Well, what other possibilities? Uh, um... Are you saying you think that it was three or four people? You really don't think that's likely. Why not? Can I borrow your pen and paper? Yeah, here. Come on, lady, we got a puzzle to solve here. <laughs> What's this? These are the combinations for three or four people. These eight combinations are the only possible ones. Oh, I see. Junpei? Yeah? I... I can trust you, right? Of course. You already asked Why that. Why you need to ask that? Really? Yeah. So then I should get rid of B, D, G, and H, right? All the ones with us in it. Of course. Just cross them out. And you should take off yours too. The ones with four. So, what does that leave? A and E. They both involve number one. Seven and eight. Wait, it can't be A. Why? Because June's in that one. There's no way in hell she'd do something like that. Are you sure? I bet my life on it. Okay then. I can cross off A too, right? Yeah. Well, what that if means that everybody works? else. As long as it's not us, <laughs> Junpei, Clover, or June, it's everyone else. <laughs> e. Do you know what this means? Everyone besides me, you, and June would be working together. Yeah. Do you think that's likely? Hmm. Not really. If there were four people working together, no one would work with seven. They wouldn't be very cautious. <laughs> no women, anyway. I don't think they'd try that hard to hide what they were doing if they outnumbered us, right? Well. Yeah, they just kick our asses. And besides, if Ace and Seven are working together, they could have easily gotten rid of me when I went to the shower room with them. But they didn't. They didn't even try anything. If they were killers, why wouldn't they? Oh, I see. Anyway, I understand now. It seems pretty unlikely that it was as many as three or four people. Yeah. Then that means there's a good chance it was Santa and Seven. That's how it looks. But why would they do it? Their motive. Have I interrupted something? Will you stay the fuck out of here? <laughs> uh, uh, he doesn't take a hint. There was something I wanted to speak with you about, Junpei. Could you come with me for a moment? Go ahead. Okay. What did you want to talk about? There was something I wanted to check. Yeah? What's that? If you'll excuse me. Hey, what, what the hell are you doing? I'm just checking. No, 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 stop! I... Um... Just as I thought. What exactly are these pieces of paper hiding in your pocket? <sighs> you switched them, didn't you, when we voted? Um... <sighs> well, I can't say that I care. I managed to get through the numbered door I wanted, despite your mischief. Then, why did you... Oh, simple curiosity. I hope you won't think ill of me for it. No, I think ill of you for killing people. Uh, <laughs> asshole. Why are we in here now? I'm not ready to be in here. A compass. It appears to be broken, however. You see, the glass cover has been smashed to pieces. The helm. Well, steering wheel might be a more appropriate term. Shut up. <laughs> this isn't good. So many drawers, but nothing inside of them. What's this? Some kind of display? Looks a little like an electronic scoreboard. I imagine it was added recently. Yeah, no shit. You mean they didn't have electronic scoreboards in like 1913 or whatever the fuck it was meant to be? <laughs> it's a wooden box. Maybe a case for letters? Hey Clover, you ever write letters? Nothing. Shelves alive with books. Let's see what's in this blue one. There's something written on it. Ship's log. Huh. Chip's log, eh? New material. What do we got here? This map looks weird. What is it? 
It's the map of the world, but with the Atlantic Ocean in the middle. It probably looks weird because you're not used to seeing it that way. What? That's how it always looks, isn't it? Is that not normal? How does it normally look? That's how all the maps around here look. <laughs> I'm confused. Thought that was a normal looking map to me. Stack of nautical charts. I think there's a nautical chart. There's this line on it here. I think the line is the route the ship is supposed to take. There are dots all over the map. That's probably ports. Like for a boat to stop at. Looks like the lines connect the dots. Do we need to copy that over there? Seems like the obvious thing to do, right? Another of red pins. What do the red pins mean? The nautical charts I picked up earlier have a map like this one. Maybe one of them matches up to the pins or something. Let's see. Oh, what do you know? Looks like this one's a match to the pins. Okay, so we got seven locations connected by straight lines. Then each one has a, wor a word next to it. That's probably the speed. Did that change anything? I don't know what that means. Well, what that do? A light. All right, I guess we're going back in here again. Oh, what is this? An engine order telegraph. They use this on old ships to adjust the speed of the ship, like the gear shifter in a car. It's a little different. This device doesn't connect directly to the engine. In short, it's a transmitter. The navigation officer uses it to set the speed of the ship, and it sends a signal to the engine. There's a handle on top of it, which can be moved back and forth to hold on. Huh? There's no handle. You're right, there isn't. Looks as though it was deliberately removed. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Who would do such a thing? Oh yeah, everyone. Um. A steering wheel. Let's see if it- Whoa! Looks like the steering wheel moves. So it would seem. I noticed something else as well. What's, what's that? But when you move this wheel, the compass also moves. What do you mean? The ship, it's moving. Ha! Huh. Tricked you, didn't I? The wheel and the compass must be connected to one another somehow. Hmm, do you think that's important? Let's try turning it again. Okay, I don't know which way we're going though. So it doesn't actually help us very much. Wait, where's our files? Um, is that under a menu? Yes. Ship's log. Oh, is that the hint? Nautical table. Oh, there you go. Full half slow, full half dead stop. Oh man, I need to write all this down. Where's my pen? So it goes southwest, south. Oh, thank god. South, west, southwest, northwest, east, north, straight. And then it says full, half, slow, full. Half. Dead. Stop. Okay. So I assume that has something to do with like, uh, we set the speed here, but we don't have the, oh, we need the handle first. But if we find a replacement handle, we could probably get it to move. That's going to be the most important thing then. The handle. Broken compass. This thing won't budge. Feels like there's something keeping it in place. What would be the point of moving it? The ship has stopped. What would be the use of steering it? Yeah, I know, still. There's another room on the other side of the window. I'm very confused about the layout here. Looks like there's some sort of lock. It's got a weird shape indentation on it. Huh? The shape? Maybe... It does look like the pocket watch would fit here. Nothing. I imagine if the pocket watch is intended to go in there, However, we need to do something with the watch first. Okay, let's have a look at it, shall we? The mechanical pocket watch with a spring. Doesn't appear to be working. The hands have stopped at 5 minutes, 39 seconds past 10 o'clock. Turning the knob does nothing. Yeah, it's probably broken. Looks as though you could move the hands, however. 
Okay. How? Is there something around here I can move the ha Can I move the hands in here? She sure isn't saying much and she keeps looking at the floor. She seems kind of sad. But the pocket watch. I don't feel anything moving when I fiddle with the dial here. How do I move the hands manually then? A chair. A chair. Clever isn't talking much. Well, I guess it's understandable. I mean, she's been through a lot. Really, it's more surprising that she's still together enough to, to talk at all. Yep. The right drawer. Let's have a look. Nothing. The left drawer. Let's have a look. Nothing. It's a light. Oh, I guess she doesn't really feel like talking. She's not really paying attention to anything, is she? Her mind must be somewhere else. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. There's a compass behind the helm. Alright, let's see if we can get the steering wheel working. So we're gonna go south. Then we're gonna go west. Then we want to go southwest. Then we want to go northwest. And then we want to go east. Probably quickest to go this way. Then we want to go north. What the? The handle came off. Heh. Stupid so low, are you zero? Okay, that worked. So we got the handle. I hope this handle fits. Yes, it fits. Excellent. That should allow us to operate the engine or to telegraph. Let's give it a shot. Alright, how does that work? What is this? Hmm, nothing's happening. No, I don't think so. Take a look. Over there, above the door to the chart room. There's something on the wall that looks kind of like an arrival board. There's only stuff displayed on the left side. What the hell is this? It's the name of the ports in the world. I imagine it's showing us the ship's route. You know, just like the ones you might see at an airport. Departing XX carrier, XX flight, XX at XX o'clock. Like that. Oh, I get it. It does look like those are the names of all the ports along the ship's route. But there's only one line that shows arrival time. Ah, the time on the bottom, right? 47 sec- oh my god. 7.25 and 47 seconds. That's what we got to set the po pocket watch to. Uh, can we just- uh, uh, can we just use the pocket watch on it? Perhaps, I suddenly went up to Junpei. Excuse me, Junpei. Hey, you just took my pocket watch. What the hell are you doing? Just trust me. It should be fine now. Well, thanks for giving me the pocket watch back. But you don't need to look so smug about it. I took it and looked at the needle. Then, 47 seconds, 25 minutes past 7 o'clock. Let's say you changed it to match the, fi the final arrival time. Ace nodded slowly. You know what to do next, right? Give it a shot. Okay. Some sort of lock. Stick it in. Huh? That's strange. Nothing's happening. Perhaps you set it to the wrong time. Well, the arrival board had the time for the final destination. And we set the hands on the watch for that time, so... Are you saying that the arrival board is the wrong time? Yeah, I think it might. We need to figure out how to get it to show the right one. What? How? We still need to do this. Let's give this another shot. Oh, we can. Okay, okay. Alright, here we go. Alright, so. Full. Half. Slow. Full. Half. Dead. Stop. Huh? 
That's weird. I thought I put in the right speed. Did I mess up? No, I don't think so. The same thing happened earlier, remember? There's been a change to the arrival board. Yeah, you're right. Let's check it out. Good. God, this is a hard puzzle. Not the hardest one yet, though. Jinpei, take a look. The display panel looks different. Yeah, you're right. Only the left half of it is on, though. The last line says the estimated arrival time and the final destination is 10 seconds past 3 o'clock. Wow, that is prompt. Like, that is... You're gonna be 10 seconds late? That's, that's good timing. Change the watch. Good work, Jinpei. You're a sharp one. You matched up the hands on the watch like I did earlier, didn't you? Now you've set it to 10 seconds past 3 o'clock. Yep. Surely you know what tab needs to happen next. Let's give it a shot, shall we? Indeed we shall. Indeed we shall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes! That feels good. It says open now. Good work. Seems you're successful. Well done, Jinpei. Hey, Clover! What? Look, we unlocked the door. Now we can get out this room. Oh. Well, let's go then. Clover. Let's go. Solved it. That was hard though. <laughs> but we got there in the end, right? I mean, puzzles aren't as satisfying to solve if they're not difficult. It's far too narrow to be called one. This seems to be the only route. Yeah, let's go. Wow. We got another puzzle. Well, these machines are weird. I I've never seen any of them before. Huh? Wait, this one is... Ah, oh, yes. A telegraph key. Morse code. These were used to transmit Morse code a long time ago. This must be the communication office. And that door? Captain's quarters. Huh. That's what it says. Then, do you think... Zero is there? Well, we won't know if we don't open it. Good point. Damn, that light is getting bright over there. Jesus, the window. <sighs> Not again. Damn. No, wait. We didn't check his pulse yet. Maybe he's still alive. Yeah, I doubt it. No pulse. <laughs> he looks very dead. He has a freaking bracelet on, though. Well, he's dead. Damn. If only we knew how it happened. These wounds. <sighs> I wonder what killed him. It must have been this. These clothes. A captain. Does that mean this guy was Zero? Bracelet Zero. <sighs> it may be wise to find a way out of here first. Yeah, you're right. And with that, it is time for us to wrap up this episode because we don't have time to solve another puzzle room. Not if it's like the last one, anyway. So we are going to wrap this one up here in the next episode. We're going to do the Captain's Quarters. And then... We'll pretty much be... I think that'll be the last puzzle room before the, the ending ending bit. Which will just play out, so... Should be fascinating to see what happens. Till then, it'll be guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I'll see you in the next one.